guys, it's Jodie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back again. I really appreciate it because without you guys, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I recently discovered over COVID that Makeup Revolution has come to Australia and to Priceline. And with that, I finally got online and got myself a few essentials from their range. I did not get any of the collaboration palettes, but I got a few of their basics and I'm, I had have to say, I've, I've tried a few of these out and I've been wearing them to work um, throughout the week and I'm kind of impressed. I don't know, there's a few things that I'm like, ee! and then there's a few things that I'm like, what? This is crazy. So I'm gonna get it started. We are gonna head in and do some priming. I'm just gonna moisturize myself with the Ofra Oil Free, Ofra Oil Free, Ofra Oil Free Moisturizer. Ooh. First product off the rank, we're gonna head in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Never seen a foundation like this in my life. In my life, I've never seen a foundation open up like this. What is that? Honey, I blew the kids up to a concealer brush. It's ginormous. You know what? I'm gonna hold this up to scale to my Woodstock bourbon. Yes, I'm drinking bourbon at the same time as filming, but seriously guys, that is the size. It's a regular size foundation bottle. It is not a concealer and it's massive. And this thing is like the best thing. I don't know if I can go back to a normal foundation now. This is, this is my life. Yeah, love. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend that out. Over the last couple of weeks, Raw Beauty by Christy released her new Pure palette. It's a double-sided palette that had a mirror on both sides and it came with false eyelashes. And I was super envious, their website crashed and I couldn't get a kit the first time or the second time. So I think I just went on like a full makeup spree where I was just like, well, I'm gonna buy new makeup then. Instead of buying this new makeup re revolution, it's not gonna replace Raw Beauty by Christy. And I'm just in love. I just cannot believe I found this. I'm just gonna apply my makeup by Makeup Revolution powder. This is just a matte base powder in the P5. I went for the P5 because I went for the F5 foundation. I thought maybe they might be the same color. I'm just gonna set my face all over. Now that I've done that, I'm now going to apply my Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in the Ultra Fair. Chosen this nice little rosy color on the side here. I'm just gonna go with the blushy color today. Feeling a bit blushy. But I've finished applying my blush. I'm going to now use this one, which I was really interested in trying. It's a duo brow definer. So on one end, it's like a pencil stick for your brows. And on the other end, it's got like a little spoolie brush. gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Hydrolonic Fix Setting Spray. I would say there's like a real fragrance to it. I don't know what that smell is, but it smells nice. Now for the fun part, guys. In honor of missing out on the Raw Beauty by Christy makeup palette, I decided to go for something really bold. Would normally never go for a palette like this. This is the Marvelous Mattes um, in the Raw Beauty by Christy range. She had a lot of bold yellows, greens, and like real like bright colors also in the other palette is the reloaded red alert it has a few more like more natural like nude tones um and it does have a shimmer in there which i'm excited to use yeah i just thought maybe i'd play around with these two tonight whatever happens happens what i might do is go in with one of these first and then play around with the nude tones after Oh my god, I can't even open these. They're all childproof. So we're gonna start off with the Reloaded Marvelous Matte Palette and I'm gonna use this bold yellow in the corner here. So 
Now I'm gonna go back into that same palette and I'm gonna touch on this burnt orange color here. We're just gonna go around the outer crease of our lid. So now I'm just going to go in with that same palette and use that nice bright white color down below and we're going to pop it on our inner corner of our eye. So by now you should have this beautiful sunset eye look. Now we're gonna head over to the other palette, the Red Alert palette. Okay, so we're gonna use this beautiful hot pink in the middle here, and we're gonna throw that under our eye line. I'm gonna go and let this palette slide without me trying any one of these shimmers. Definitely going off this goldy bronzy one here on the side there. So I'm going to try and use that and pat it over the center of my eyelid and create a halo shimmer effect. Let's do it. Just going over that inner corner again with the white, just so it's a little bit more like Predominant. When in doubt, use your pinky. Sometimes a brush can't always do the job. I'm really surprised at how pigmented those shimmers were. I think these palettes were only like $8 and that is how crazy the pigments were on them. That is insane. I'm loving this look so far. So we're gonna throw some liner on. The Essence Eyeliner called The Dip and it's a liquid eyeliner. So I tried it out because I had seen other people use it. It's animal cruelty free, so here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, not bad. I think it's um, definitely jet black, which is like giving me the vibes that I need. I think I might take some time getting used to that pen sort of brush. It's done a pretty spot on job for what I needed to. So now I'm gonna go in with my mascara, e.l.f. mascara. We're gonna go in and put some lashes on. Not last but least, we need some lip color. This is the Sheer Cutie. It's like a party pink color. I'm a party girl. I'm a party girl vibe. Jesus, that was aggressive. <laughs> it's it there, the Revolution Sheer Pink Gloss. And it smells like bubble gum. Legit. Oh, that goes on so smooth. Yes. Oh, that is so cute. I'm so glad I picked up this shade. I just want to eat it. Like, it smells so good. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm done. Let's go over some of my favorite products. So far, I'm obsessed with the foundation. It feels very thin for a full coverage foundation, which I'm really surprised by, and it covers all my redness. So very impressed by that. That was the Conceal and Define foundation. Really, really, really like this Duo Brow Definer. It is such a neat idea. I know most um, brow pencils have this on both sides, but I really like the quality of the brush on this. Like it's nice and thick. It's not like crap quality and it brushes out your, um, brow hairs really nicely. Makeup Revolution eye palettes. These were a steal. They were only $8.99 each. Wow. I'm going to be using this in so many makeup looks from now on. You guys are going to get sick of me. If you're contemplating spending some money on Makeup Revolution from Priceline and you're Australian and you haven't tried it yet, I definitely would recommend. Head down to your local Priceline if you can't find it in there. They have it online. 
this is the makeup look all together guys if you like this video so far please like my video and comment down below your favorite product from the range of makeup revolution and let me know if there's any other makeup palettes you'd like me to try if you'd like to subscribe to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get any uploads from my future videos or makeup hauls and yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye